I right, just wanted to take a minute and talk about the stylus on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash a couple of images up on the screen showing you the before. So if you look at the before photo, right, there's definitely, uh, there's a stylus there, but you can hardly see it. So, boy, that is kind of loose. Uh, so anyway, you see the before image, and then you see a couple of additional images that show kind of the cleaning in progress. And what I do, and I'll show you here in a minute, but what I do is uh, basically I use magic eraser and I use um, some rubbing alcohol. So in the last image you see where, you know, I got it pretty clean and then a kind of a side by side comparison showing you, you know, the before and the after. So what I do is I take the stylus. Now this is attached and I have that little USB microscope. And I don't have a magic eraser in the garage with me right now, so I'm going to use my Velcro straps just to show you. So what I do is I take the, the stylus off, right, I take the stylus off and I soak the tip in rubbing alcohol for about 30 seconds. And then using the magic eraser, I put the stylus tip down on the magic eraser. And I'm not dragging it across or side by side or anything like that. But I will put the tip down and then just slightly kind of move it in a backward position. So I guess I am kind of sliding it, but I'm not dragging it. And then I do a little side to side and then I do kind of forward and I'll do that, you know, five, six times, you know, maybe, maybe 10 times per direction. And then I'll soak the tip again and then I'll do that little, you know, that brushing action on it and then I'll you know, check it out on the microscope and then I'll do it again, check it out on the microscope until I get it clean. Now, I am recommending to the uh, the owner of the table to, the owner of the table to, uh, to replace the stylus, but now at least it's good enough to where I, you know, you can listen to it. So, um, this is just my test record. So, what I want to, what I want to look at though, is this this noise that this is making so I'm not sure what that is so just to verify that it's still doing it so it's on and I hit start yeah you can hear that that motor running a little bit and then we'll go to the end and let it pick it up and return it All right. Well, at least it's working. My fear was that this was going to be all kind of crazy. You know, with a complex turntable like this, you're getting into integrated circuits and waveforms and, and all of those things. So, and I will pull down the service. I cannot get over how light this turntable is. I mean, it's a beautiful turntable, but, um, and, and uh, you know, the, the heft or the weight of the turntable doesn't really mean anything necessarily, but I've always associated a heavy turntable with a, you know, the heavier, the, the higher the quality. So, get that cord out of the way. There we go. All right, so I am thinking... You know that belt, that belt may still be a little bit, a little too loose on there. I don't know if I have a smaller belt. I'm going to have to order a belt for this. I think that might be what it, why it's rattling. And I'm just going to have to pull the belts out of here. Just grab the smallest one. But I think... Yeah, all these belts are the same size. This might be the smallest belt. Yeah, it's the, that's the smallest size belt I have. So, I don't know if that's what's causing that rattle or not. But that belt is... 
I don't know, just to me, it, it feels like it should be a little bit tighter. But if I look at the size of the old belt, I mean, it looks like it's the right size. These belts are thinner, but for the customer, these belts are free. If I put a thicker belt on here, then, you know, the, the owner pays for that belt and they're not, I mean, they're not expensive, but they're not cheap. You know, you're looking at 10 to $15 for, for a belt. And all of these, I think, are flat belts. Man, that's a, that's a larger belt. So I don't have, I don't have any smaller belts. So that belt's gonna have to do it. So I'm really not sure. What I may have to do is flip this over and just kind of look at it, but I'm sure it's, I really don't want to get my hands all gunkified. Yeah, I think it's just, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's making that noise. Yeah, I bet it's that. I bet it's this belt. I'm probably gonna have to order one, which I really don't wanna have to do. All right, I'm gonna pause, and I'm just gonna see if I have, I have belts kind of stashed all over here. I'm gonna see if I can find a smaller belt for that. All right, so I'll show you what uh, what's making the noise here. A tighter belt did not change anything. Sorry, my camera's not in a real good position to get this centered, so. And I'm not sure what that chunk of whatever is on there. Almost looks like a mouse turd. That's a bug. That's gross. Now this um, this grease is pretty gummy. So what I'm th what I'm wondering. Let me show you what it's doing. So you'll you'll hear it and you'll see it when I when I give it power and I hit the button over here. So. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this old grease off because it is a little bit gummy and see if that quiets it. I don't think it will, I don't think it will, but you never know on these. So what I'll do is I'm gonna speed through, um, speed through cleaning this gunk off of here and reapplying some better grease. Oh, and there's, what is that? Oh, that's like a, is it like a felt? It's like a felt something. Weird. Looks, there's like hair. I thought it was hair, but it's like a felt pad. I think. Is that supposed to be there? I'll have to look at the service manual and see. Anyway, I'm gonna speed through clean this off and then we'll see what happens. I'm still in the process of cleaning this up, but I'm finding this felt or whatever all wrapped up in these in this gear. And it's not really I don't I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of that rattle or not. I I honestly don't know where it's coming from. I'm gonna try something though. Let's see. It, I don't know if it's just from it moving back and forth. Let's see if I. No. Whoa! Pop that belt right off of there. Yeah, I don't know where that... I can't figure out where that noise is coming from. Huh. 
Huh, weird. It's not from the, the grease that was applied here. Strange. I can't tell what's what it's coming from. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because... Because I don't have time to do it. Weird. Let me put some lithium grease down here, see what that does. Let this kind of do the lube, the lubing for me. Let's see. Oh, no. Nope. Nope, no difference. No change. Oh, they got a little bit quieter. Try it again, see what happens. Nope. So going out, sorry, I got, everything's buried on my bench over here. Um, I really can't tell where, what is making it. Trying to isolate. Yeah, if I, if I add tension to the belt, I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Is it this? Is it kind of the vertical movement here? Or not vertical, horizontal movement here? Let's see. Boy, I don't know. I don't want to do that too much though. I don't have the uh, platter on there, so. I don't know what would make that rattle noise. It's not making sense to me at all. Because there's no, I mean. Nope. Wow, I don't know. I don't know where that rattle's coming from. I have to see if anyone else has uh, mentioned anything about that on Vinyl Engine or Audio Karma, and see if anyone has tracked down the source of that rattle. I mean, it's it's almost like. There's just a little bit of movement back and forth in that, and I don't know if that would cause that or not. I just want to try one more test to see if I can narrow down what's going on with that. So if I turn this on, what I'm going to try to do is kind of lock that. So what's that's a little loose going back and forth there. Problem is this white plastic. Yeah, no, no change. Oh, let's see.
Nope. But I'm not going to spend too much time trying to trying to figure that out because I don't know. You know, I'll have to go out and see if anyone else has uh, mentioned that rattle for the 707. There's not a lot of information out there about these. Uh, oh, let me zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. Rattle's still there. I'm going to go see if I can find any information out about it. Okay, I think I found the source of the noise, but it's not going to be something that I'm going to probably... Well, maybe I can, maybe I can do something about it. It's the motor. So, you'll... See, it's making that noise. So that's where it's coming from. I'm gonna look at it real quick because this is going from uh, kind of a basic service to a repair. So, and I don't like to do that without talking to the owner first to see if they are willing to go the repair route in terms of time and cost and all that stuff. So, that's I'm not gonna cut it on that. I think I left my screwdriver in the house so I gotta get and just like that my screwdriver appears I'm testing a Yamaha receiver and I had it in the house I've had to do some creative engineering on that one man how do you get that out of there what I'm thinking is maybe if I can just lube the motor It'll calm that down, but I, I don't know how to remove it. So these are rubber mounts. And that, oh, that rubber mount's kind of, oh, that stuff's falling apart. All right. So my thought is, I'm sorry, my head's probably in the way. Tony, for those that uh, think this is easy, it is not. Like filming and... Yeah, I think that's where that rattle might be coming from. Well, there's not really much I can do with that. And I'm not going to tear this apart. And what I will try, though, is a little bit of 3-in-1 here. Needs to be lubed anyway. See if I can get that to kind of seat back down in there. Again, I don't think that's going to do anything for the noise. It just may be how this is. And I really, this rubber stuff, I think, is just going to disintegrate if I try to pull it apart. And I, so I don't want to do that. So that was down like so. This goes back in like this. It's sat in there. This was between the mount and the motor. Thing is with these, you know, if, if I, man, this stuff is really, really sticky. Um, you know, if this stuff falls apart as I'm working on it, it's going to be impossible to replace. So, at least that's how it feels to me. So, I am not going to mess with it. There we go. No, no, that probably didn't do anything, but. At least there's a little bit of oil in there now. And we'll see if that, that does anything. It's kind 
kind of a weird way to mount that motor. Like there's nothing really holding the motor in position other than this rubber, this rubber mount. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. Kind of a weird deal. So let's see what that did. Probably nothing. Oh. Oh man, I almost got it. Just a little bit. So what I'm wondering is if I can pull this motor over just a little bit. So let's see if I do that, what happens. So I'm just pulling, I'm applying pressure. Oh, it's quiet now. Okay, all right, so. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe putting a little bit of a wedge in here. And kind of forcing that belt to be a little tight. I don't think that'll work. I need something a little bit thicker than that. So uh, hopefully you can kind of understand what I'm saying. So to kind of force the motor back this way a little bit. Uh. You have to you have to put another little piece of plastic in there. So what I'm doing is just trying to uh, increase a little increase the tension just a little bit. belt and hopefully quiet that rattle. So use a larger piece of plastic that should put it in a better position. I know this is not like a very <laughs> let's see. I mean it's almost perfectly quiet. Almost perfectly quiet. And there's quite a bit more tension on the belt now. Try one more little, see what it does now. Yeah, that's quiet. Well, not a, not a pretty fix, but. Pulled my finger. So the belt's a little bit tighter now. I don't. I still don't think when I put the tighter belt on, it didn't. It didn't change it before. I mean, it could just be a loose belt. I'll talk to the. I'm going to talk to the owner and see what the owner wants to do. If they want me to pony up the money for a belt and see if it fixes it, we can. But right now. Quiet. <clears throat> Let's flip it over and verify that it's going to stay quiet. <clears throat> yep. No noise at all. All right. <clears throat> so before I get into wrapping this up, I need to call the owner and see what they want to do about the stylus, what they want to do about that belt. Um, and uh, then we'll go from there because I don't want to clean this up if I'm going to have to wait a week and get a belt and manhandle this and get it all, you know, gunkified and all that stuff. Um, the platter spindle is like, that's really good. Uh, I'll probably see about removing, well, let's just, let's just do it. So let me speed through removing this top and see if we can get to the platter spindle and lube it.